In order to demonstrate all four working parts, I've created this very simple app. And so what this will do is you can look for a translation. If that translation isn't already in the cache, it will add it to the cache. And so next time, if you went looking for the same translation, it will get it straight from the cache instead of the database. So I think this demonstrates nicely that we can see PHP's working, the database is working, the cache is working, obviously the server is working, otherwise you wouldn't even be able to see this page. In my index.php file, I've added the template for what you've just seen. Again, this is a Docker course, it's not a HTML course, so you don't want to watch me go and write out a load of HTML and CSS. So what I've done is created this template. There's an easy way for you to obtain this, and that is to just go over to the repository. So come to Gary Clark Docker hyphen PHP, and as you can see at the moment, I'm on the main branch. What I'd suggest you do if you want to get that template in that current state, what you just saw there, is to switch to a branch called front end. Each recording is associated with one of these branches. The one that I'm currently recording is called front end. If we switch to there, and then what you need to do is go into app, public, and then index.php. So obviously you can clone the entire repo, but maybe an easier way to do this if you've been coding along so far is to actually just go and click on the little raw tab here. And then you'll be able to just grab all of that content, just uh, command A and then copy, and then just go over to your index.php file and just paste it in there. Now that we've taken the step of adding that front end, I think it'll be easy for us to check if our system is working as a whole. In the next one, we're going to have a look at adding a MySQL database.